Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Uh, you kind of see my convoluted setup here that I got going for my recording. But um, I did a video the other day about new terminal features on Chrome OS Flex, and I uh, didn't know when I was making the video how you can get extra Linux containers. But luckily I got a comment, actually I got multiple comments in here, uh, but here's just one of them. There's a manage extra container flag or something like that that you have to enable to get multiple Linux containers. So let me switch over to the uh, Chrome OS, if I can figure that out. Okay, see how neat that was? Now, I uh, went ahead and scaled up the resolution on the Chrome OS that I'm recording here, so hopefully you guys can see it a little better. I know it was a little tiny last time. So I'm going to go ahead and open Chrome Flags. And we are going to look for, let's just search for container. All right. I think this is what we want. Allow multiple, I think you'd say cross teeny containers. So let's do that. Looks like we got to restart, of course. But luckily now, with this new setup I have, I can restart it without stopping the video. Good news. Good news bears. All right, so let's open up our terminal now. And... Let's try to go to manage and see if we can start another container. Linux development environment. Manage extra containers. Ooh, how fun is that? Let's uh, let's create one. I'll call it test. Why not? What's advanced give us? I don't know if I need to change VM name. I guess if I have an image, I don't know. Let's just create it. Did it do anything? Let's go back. Hmm. Well, let's see. Maybe I got a little click happy. Create. Container name. Create. Maybe I got to change the VM name. Oh, well, it's doing something down here. Maybe uh, maybe I'm creating a bunch of them and I don't even know it. Sometimes when you get a little click happy, things go crazy. All right, so that looks like it's working. I don't know. I wish I had some kind of indication or progress bar of what was going on. We'll see what happens. Uh, coffee, of course. Can't make a video without it. I suppose you could, but would it be worth it? I don't know. So here my terminal's spinning. I really hope it's doing something. Okay. Yeah, see, it just doesn't give any indication of what is going on. I wonder what the color's for. Let's make this one red. See what happens. Oh, that's cool. If you right-click on it now... Um, if you saw my last video, I created a secure shell connection, and you can access it really quick just by right-clicking. Maybe I need... Oh, look. Look at this. My other one showed up. How fun. It must be making the other ones I made, too. You might hear a phone ringing in the background. Ignore that. I get spammed nonstop. Maybe you guys do, too. Okay, so I got one. It's got an IP address. That's interesting. Let me give it a different color, just for fun. Let's make it blue. I should have been a little more patient. I think it's creating more, which is why we have the spinning here. Did I make two or three? So it's going to be interesting to see what it does when it finally works. Yeah, here we go. Here's another one. I must have made three. 
because it's still spinning. Let's make this one green. Okay. Did that not take? Come on. Alright. We have red, blue, green. And we might end up with a yellow here. And maybe also an orange. Sorry for wasting your time. Uh, since you're watching this after the fact, you could probably fast forward a little bit and uh, see what happens when all these containers are made. Or we can just sit here watching me ramble on. And drink coffee. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> I wonder if it's giving me anything different in Linux files, or if they all use the same files. Well, I don't know. I guess while we're waiting, let's just poke around and see if they've updated Chrome OS. No, we're up to date. 103.0.5060.6. Okay. Alright, we're back here. I got a... So I guess I just made three containers. I don't know why it was still waiting all that time. But we're going to go ahead and open the terminal again. And now you see I got my uh, three. Here's Penguin, the original. Now I'm, here's DDFG, DFG. Let's open that up. And she's starting. Slowly but surely starting. Maybe starting. Let's go. You can do it. Or can you? Hmm. I wonder what it's doing. Still going? Wow. Now that is uh, interesting. Okay, you can pull a tab away to detach a terminal, that's fun. But what I wanted to do is see if the original one works. I may have just caused problems for myself here, guys. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is restart this thing. Sometimes you just need to restart. We'll pull it up. Then I will see if the original Linux container works. And if it does, I'll try the other two I made. The computer's still shutting down here. Come on. I'll tell you what. I'll stop the recording and come back when I'm started back up. Okay, so we're finally rebooted. It took a long time to shut down. and Maybe it's because it was uh, hung up on those Linux containers. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I'm just going to pop that open. I'm going to go to Penguin first. See if I can start it.
Looks like it's making more progress this time. All right, so that one's good. Now, let's see if we can open one of the other ones. This one may work. Okay, now we got a second one. And let's try our third one. Okay, we got three open. I wonder if they all use the same uh, file system. Let's try nano test point text. Oh, I don't have nano. Let me just install it. Okay, nano test point text. Hello there. Let's save that. Okay, so we got that here. Do we have it here? No. Do I have nano here? No. So, nano. Oh, so, apt install nano. So this is nice. I might have three totally different environments here, separate from each other, which would be handy. Let's call this test two point text. Hello again. All right, now I'm interested to see where uh, these are being saved at. So let's open files, little Linux files. Let's see, where would they be? I don't see any of them here. Oh, but you know what? I only have 124 gigs available now. So I wonder how much space it's allocating to all these Linux containers. Um, cause my original one I set up, I gave it, um, 128 gigs, I think. And <laughs> maybe it's given 128 gigs to all of them, which would explain why it took so long to set them up. Let's see. I'm trying to do this with my left hand and I'm not left-handed. Okay. Linux development. I wonder how you can get information on these things. Anyway, I think I'm done messing with this for now. I might uh, do some more of this not on video since I'm wasting a bunch of your time. And uh, if I find out other cool stuff, I'll let you know. But this is how you get the extra Linux containers up and running. It seems to work just on first blush here. So you can go ahead and play around with it if you want. This could be handy for if you're a developer or if you've kind of watched my other videos where we just install a whole bunch of random Linux stuff um, that can end up conflicting with other Linux things you might want to install. This is a nice way you can keep them separated. Um, I'm going to have to find out where it's saving all my files to. And, um, but I'm not going to waste your time looking through that. You guys can uh, let me know in the comments if you use this feature or if you think this is a handy feature and uh, stuff you might know about it that I don't. Otherwise, um, yeah, this is setting up multiple containers for Linux on Chrome OS Flex. I'm sure it works on regular Chrome OS too. So uh, there it is. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye now.